Why did God mark Cain for protection, even after he killed Abel? One of the first crimes ever committed is the murder of Abel by his brother, Cain. In spite of this heinous crime, God offered protection to Cain by putting a mark on him. This episode addresses why God would protect Cain, especially after initially pronouncing punishment on him. Both Cain and Abel were, at the time, the only sons of Adam and Eve noted in the Bible. The story, as recounted in Genesis, further revealed that both brothers were working men, with Abel being a shepherd and Cain a farmer. As it was the practice at the time, the time came for both brothers to offer sacrifice unto God. Abel offered God the best of his flock as sacrifice, while Cain offered his worst. Consequently, God accepted Abel's sacrifice and rejected Cain's. Perhaps the story would have ended there. However, as it is with most people without faith, Cain became resentful. He questioned the judgment of God. Genesis chapter 4 verses 5 to 7 says, Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? God clearly reminded Abel that he was receiving the consequences of his actions. If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? However, Cain would have none of that. Instead of heeding God's warning, his jealousy and resentment increased. Before we continue, let's take a second look at why God accepted Abel's sacrifice and rejected Cain's. Even though the Bible does not explicitly state why God favored Abel's offering over Cain's, it is often interpreted that Abel's offering was made in faith and with a sincere heart, while Cain's offering was not offered with the same level of sincerity or obedience. It was not about the content of the offering, but the intention of the giver. Cain could not understand this, so he despised God for his judgment. He could not reach God, so he attacked and killed God's favorite, Abel. Abel did nothing wrong. Cain killed him because of jealousy and because he resented God's righteous judgment. Expectedly, God called out Cain for this heinous crime. As recorded in the Bible, God asked Cain of the whereabout of his brother Abel, and Cain responded with the infamous retort, Am I my brother's keeper? He finds it convenient to deny his responsibility to his brother. Nevertheless, God went ahead and pronounced his punishment. He declared that Cain was under a curse as a consequence of his actions. The ground would no longer yield crops for Cain, making his farming efforts futile. This was a significant punishment in an agrarian world, as it meant that he would struggle to sustain himself. Cain was also condemned to be a restless wanderer on the earth. He would not have a settled home or a place of belonging, and he would live a nomadic and uncertain life. Now, we get to the point of this video. In Genesis chapter 4 verses 13 to 14, Cain expressed his fears to God. He said to God, my punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land, and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Cain's complaint reflects his anguish over the consequences of his sin and the hardships he believes he will face as a result of God's judgment. But God, the ever-merciful, listens to Cain. He put a mark on Cain to protect him from being killed by those who might seek revenge for Abel's murder or for some other reason. The exact nature of this mark is not specified in the Bible, and it has been the subject of much speculation and interpretation. Some scholars have speculated that it has something to do with his skin color. In a future episode, I will revisit and expand more on this topic. So why did God protect Cain from his would-be attackers, even though he committed the grave crime of killing his innocent brother? Because God wanted to avoid a cycle of vengeance. God's response was not necessarily to protect Cain from the consequences of his actions, but to stop the cycle of vengeance that may have followed. 
God decreed that anyone who killed Cain would face vengeance sevenfold. This was not necessarily a protection in the sense of shielding him from the consequences of his actions. Instead, God allowed Cain to live with the guilt and consequences of his sin, with the hope that he might eventually find redemption and repent. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. Please support this work by subscribing to this channel, if you have not done so. Let me know what you think. Who do you think were the people God protected Cain from? Why would they want to avenge Abel? Were they related? Were these Adam and Eve's other children? God bless you. Amen.